show it to Cece. Are they growing? Are you excited? See the cabbage. Yeah, it's not ready yet. It's got to get real big. Yeah. 
yesterday, not yesterday, day before yesterday, when I come out of the garden, I did not turn the electric fence back on. So something got in here. It has to be a light-footed animal because I see no tracks in the mud. I see a cat. No tracks in the mud whatsoever. So whatever it was, it was very light-footed, and it just see like that little pot right, that little spot right there where the haze pulled back right there. There's just a few stalks missing on each row, maybe like two or three stalks on each row, and that's it. So they, they didn't touch the beet corn; they're just after the little corn. And I'm beginning to wonder if maybe it was crows. Um, when you plant corn. And you're going to have some crows even digging down in your soil trying to get to the kernels. So be careful. I see one like right here. See where they pulled the hay back and got that little stalk that was planted right there. Where's my finger at? Right there. They got that one. Um, let's see. Here's some that's been pulled up out of the ground. See that one right there? These two's been pulled up out of the ground. And if I find out it's my cat, I just found I just found my cat chewing on a blade of grass. If I find out it was her, hey, I'm looking at you, Annie. If I find out it was her, I will knock her little head clean off. <laughs> now, she knows, but that's all right. When I turn that fence back on, if she gets sapped in the butt real good, she'll stay out of here. <clears throat> Our, um, <clears throat> let's see, where'd I get to? That's the second two rows we planted. I'm standing in between the last two rows we planted, and it's starting to come up, minus something getting in here last night, because it looks like it's freshly pulled back, and they haven't wilted, so it was just done last night, so then there's our sunflowers I got planted, two rows of sunflowers for the birds, I still have some room to play around up here, let me walk down this way, yeah, see, I see no tracks in the mud anywhere. So whatever it is, it's a light-footed animal. Yeah, it's a light-footed animal, whatever it is. Okay, let's see. I'm at the end of both of my sweet potato rows. So here's one. I still have some space right here I can play with. And I have some space right here I can play with. If I want to plant some herbs out here, I'll plant some herbs. Let me go down here towards the end. And I'm going to check, uh, yeah, see, they didn't come in from this way. They came in from the other side of the garden. I checked my zucchini and squash, and some are coming up. Let me find one. Here's one right here. Uh, here's one right here coming up. I don't remember which row is which. I wrote it on my chart. One row is squash, one row is zucchini, the whole row. Let me skip over here. Oh, see my little head of cabbage right there? My granddaughters were so excited. Uh, this, I think, is going to be cauliflower. This, I think, is going to be cauliflower. Where's my little... Mm, I didn't put the little things in there. Okay, yeah, that's a little head of cabbage. Let's see. Here's a little head of cabbage. They were so excited. Here's another little head of cabbage. Yes, my purple ones are coming up. Yes, let me see. Let's see, here's a little head of broccoli. Get that hay out of there. There's a little head coming up right there. Yes, that's gonna be broccoli. This is broccoli. Yes, right there, look at that. Uh, I got a little cauliflower down here somewhere. Here's broccoli. I got more broccoli than what I thought I did. Uh, where's the cauliflower? She was so excited about her cauliflower. Here's the cauliflower right here. There's the cauliflower. That one's going to be a cauliflower. All right, let's check. Oop, I'm going all the way down here. Let's go back up. Let's check and see if I see any watermelons coming up. Now, the watermelons that I planted, they are, they were saved from a watermelon. Um, so they may not even come up. My husband's like, you know, you know that some of this stuff is not going to come up, right? Yes, dear, I know this. Um... <laughs> Because some of them, and you know, like if you can, there's some things you can say, I don't see any coming up yet. Let's see what that is right there. Oh, that's grass. Yeah, um, there is some that you can save from seed. Ooh, y'all, my hair. Mm. There is some that y'all can save from seed, and it be 
just fine. Um, I think it's a heirloom that you can save seeds from, not a hybrid. Hybrids are like, you know, they're, they might be inoculated, um, and they're not good for replanting, <clears throat> saving a seed and replanting. Um, let's go back down to here towards my tomatoes that I gotta work with. Ooh, it's muddy out here. Um, where was I? Let me think. Yeah, uh, heirloom seeds, no, you can't hardly do those. I'm sorry, let me stop and think. I'm trying to concentrate on not falling in the mud and busting my tail. Um, heirloom seeds, you can save the seeds from the vegetables and replant. Hybrid seeds, not so much. Some of the watermelon seeds that I planted were just like from the grocery store watermelons, and I just saved the seeds just to see what I could do with them. So some things that you get out of the supermarket, they're not good for saving seeds and replanting. You can try and experiment. Hey, have fun. And that's what I keep telling my husband. I'm like, I'm just having fun. And sometimes he's like, well, your fun is costing me. And he's right, yes, sometimes you will waste some money, but you know what? It's all about education. Try to do what you can, you know, and, and play with it. Um, I've got some carrots here I need to thin out. I've got some radishes coming in. Let me turn you around and let you look at those very slowly. I don't want to make you sick. Yeah, see? i got some radishes and some carrots. How they got mixed up, I don't know. That wasn't supposed to happen because these are supposed to be all carrots, no radishes. I don't know how those radishes got in there. I just got happy one day, I guess, and got my tubs mixed up. I even got some lettuce growing in here. Now, how that lettuce got in there, really don't ask me because I didn't purposely plant that. See this lettuce right here, this purple leaf lettuce? See, I got to go through these carrots and I got to start thinning these out or they're not going to grow. So I'll have to do that today. But let me show you how we're going to start doing my tomatoes. I am just going to plop down right here in the hay and just set out. All right. Now, we did go back through and we replaced some tomatoes plants that we lost. We replaced three or four pepper plants that we lost. And then on this side of the panel over here, on that side over there, we went and bought Roma tomatoes. So I have, I've got two different, I've got three different kinds. I have Better Boy, Beef Steak, and Romas. And I'm going to experiment with um, the tomatoes this year. I tried to plant Romas last year and they didn't work so good. Well, excuse me, I just had breakfast. The deer got in here last year and ate our whole garden down. So we had nothing, okay? We had nothing last year. So this is my first year hopefully successfully growing Romas. I want to try some spaghetti sauce with using just Roma versus the way I eat the tomatoes I usually use for my tomato sauce. We'll see what the difference is. See how I can grow the Romas this year. And then I will try to mix some I will mix some Romas in with my other varieties, see what I get out of that. It's all about playing and experimenting, y'all, and having fun. You can do this, okay? Now, as far as my tomato plants goes, um, I'm going to get in here, see how good these are growing, but there is a lot of stems down here at the bottom that's new. See these little ones trying to come out? You kind of want to get rid of those because you really don't need anything touching the ground, okay? The more stem that touches the ground, you've got a chance on um, fungus and stuff, especially when it rains splashing up upon your plant. And see, like some of these that's already getting... Hello, kitty. <laughs> see some of these that's really... Your, okay, sit down right there. Some of these, it's already getting like brown spots and wilted leaves. I've got to get those off of there before they infect the rest of the plant. So I'm going to just pinch some of these off. Kitty, move. I'm going to pinch some of these off. See, like that one right there? That, that little one, it's already dying. It needs to come off. Anything that's dead on your plants, if you start noticing leaves, I don't see one yet that has, like this one is starting to get some brown spots. 
you know what? You can take that leaf off. Anything on your plant that looks like it's dying out or it's getting brown spots on it, um, go ahead and take those off, just the leaf. But if it's the whole branch, now you'll have to take the whole branch off. And then what I'm going to fix this one up. I'm going to clean the bottom of here. Um, I did this one the other day. I stayed out here in the yard the other day. Y'all, oh, kitty cat. She's got my camera strap. Get it. Let me have that. You're stuck in the camera. I'll play with you in a minute. Stop. Um, this one I got the other day. I got the lower hanging branches off to where it won't be touching the hay. And then I've started already tying it up some. I did these. I pruned close to the ground. See, like right down there? I pruned close to the ground. And I've already started tying it up to our panel right here. So they can, they won't blow over, especially when it's raining. Because we've had some wild thunderstorms the past few weeks. And I don't want these to start breaking and fall it over and, and all such that. This one's looking good. See, I got to pick that one up off of the ground right there. I got to pick that one up and start getting it tied up because it's already starting to lean and go towards the right. So I got to get that one up. But now, let's see, I don't see anything else dead on this one. No, I see a leaf back here that needs to come out. See those spots on that leaf right there? Move your little tail, kitty cat. Annie, move. See that spot right? Where's my finger? Right here, this leaf has already got some brown on it. You know what? The whole, I just need to take that off. All right. So, oh, yeah, there's a perfect example right there. Get that off. But see, there's more than one, and the tip of it is already starting to... to get fungus on it and wilt and die out so I just took the whole limb off so it doesn't affect the whole plant so I'm gonna prune I'm gonna remove grass let's see this low one right here needs to go oh this is a perfect example of a sucker right here you see your main stem right here your main stem then you have a branch coming out that one right there you see that little bitty thing in the middle of the V that's his not your head, Annie. Move back. That little thing right there in the middle, that's a sucker. That needs to come out. You're going to look for those all over your plant. Let's see if I see another one. We need to remove suckers. I'll play with you in a minute, Annie. We need to remove suckers. She keeps hitting the camera, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. I may find one on another plant. That's the reason why you want to get out every day, y'all, and just baby your tomato plants. I don't see a lot more on this plant. <clears throat> but that's what I'm looking for, suckers. I'm looking for any. See, this one's too close to the ground right here. It's, too, it's laying on the ground. It needs to come off. So I'm just going to pinch it off. This one has some dead leaves on the end of it and some brown spots, I'm going to get it off, y'all. And I'm going to get these out of the garden. All right? Now, this one, when I get ready to tie this up, I'm going to come around the whole plant, all the main branches. I'm going to come around the whole plant with the strong ones, and I'm going to loosely tie it up to where that way all these branches don't start just flopping over and falling on the ground. You're not going to be able to get all of them in there like this one. But if you get your main branches and you just kind of lightly tie it up to your panel, that will be great. All right, let me move to another one. Let me see if there's anything on this side. Oh, there's a sucker right there. See, right in between that V right there. The cat, I'm sorry, y'all. That little V right there. That needs to come out of that branch. That is rock. Oh, y'all, I'm sorry. That's my neighbor. <laughs> Scared my cat. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's target practicing. Okay, let's see. I don't see any more suckers. No more suckers. All right, this plant's doing good. I will have to trim a bunch of these at the bottom because they're all touching the ground and I need to get those up. See, it's already
already bringing like a, yeah, that leaf right there needs to come off, brown spot. See, I got to trim this one up some, and I'm going to, I'll look at this one. I'll tell you what I'll do. Let me start with one plant at a time, and I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to trim, check for suckers, and then I'm going to show you how I tie them up. So let me see if I can put the camera somewhere where you can see. Because I have no clue if you're going to be able to see this or not. I should have brought my tripod out here with me. So let's see if I can put this somewhere close. Uh, if y'all can see this right here. I apologize. Next time I will bring my tripod. Let me see if y'all can see that. I'm going to get it right here and look. And I about had another Tom and Jerry moment, y'all, with my hoe out here. Yes, okay, y'all will be able to see this and see how I am going to prune and then I'm going to tie it up. So y'all just bear with me. This is just going to be a educational. I got my knife. Okay, I'm going to look at this one really good. I'm going to get any low spots, low branches off of the bottom of the plant, off of the ground. There's a leaf that needs to come off. Let's get that off. All right, I don't see any more suckers. Oh, yeah, I do, right here in the middle. I'm gonna get this sucker off. Okay, now, it's okay, Bri. Now, I'm going to take some of our string. Y'all, I just, the hay bales that we bought, I just saved string, saved the twine off of them. It's really fine. It's a coated plastic, so it's not going to be like rough. See, I just cut, if you can see that, I cut a piece of twine from our hay bales. Now, I'm going to take the tougher branches of the plant and just gather them very carefully and just put them in a circle, go around the whole plant. Now, I'm going to tie loosely, not tight, to where it cuts into the plant. You don't want that. All right? Tie it very loosely to the... Oh, wait a minute. I need to go up on the cattle panel to where the... Yeah, let's go up here. Okay, yeah, it won't slide down. Go up to the V, to the welding where your wire connects. Go up there, tie it, and tie it loosely, and I'll show you. I'll grab the camera here just a second. Tie it loosely. Now, see, it's pulled up, it's tied up, but it's loose. These branches right here, I need to push back over here on their side. Well, they'll stay on their side of the fence and not interfere with the other ones. Let's bring this up just a little bit. Here we go. I don't want to hurt any branches. Now I'm going to bring you in just a little closer and I'm going to let you see what I just did. See how I just gathered the bottom of the plant up like a celery stalk? Not tight. You don't want to, you don't want to do it too tight where it breaks, but you do want these off of the ground, okay? And I just went around the whole plant. There's my string all the way up. I tied it right there to the cattle panel. It's very loose, but it's bracing it. It's holding it up to where the plant will grow straighter up. Okay? Now, these plants, the beef boy, uh, better boy, and the beef steak are a, um, what do you call it? There's two kinds. One is determinate, one is in, into, interdeterminate. Okay? I don't know how to pronounce them. I'm sorry, y'all. One is going to grow low to the ground like a little bush. These, mm -mm, these are going to go up this cattle panel, y'all. I've had some one year tomato plants that went over my head, and I'm 5'2", and these tomato plants were taller than I was. So this is why I have to have a tall trellis, and I have to tie them to keep them from falling over, or they will just collapse when the tomatoes start pulling them down. So this is how I, this is how we do our tomatoes. This is how I stake them and I prune them and I see like that one right there.
there. It's tied up to the fence like a good little soldier. It's going to grow up. Now, I'll have to come back and tie these up more as they grow. You know, like this one's going to get taller. It's going to get tied up again once it gets up to about right here. This one's going to get tied up again as it gets up to here. This one will get tied up again. So I'm going to go down all of my rows, and I'm going to take care of all my tomato plants. That is my job for the day. If I don't start getting rained out. I already played in the, let's look at the clouds. Yeah. See, I already played outside the other day in the rain. And I was soaking wet by the time I got in the house. I was bound to determine I was going to get something done outside. And I woke up the next morning, had a stuffy nose. I was chilly when I come in outside because it, it was raining and the wind was blowing, so I was getting chilly. I woke up the next morning with a stuffy nose, so I have to know when to stop. But that is how we take care of our tomato plants. They've been um, fertilized a second time because they're starting to get blooms on them. So we fertilize when we plant and we fertilize when the blooms start coming and we'll fertilize again before the final, you know, harvesting. <clears throat> so, so far, they have shot up really good and I'm, I'm pleased with the, with the results. So I'm gonna go down through here, I'm gonna finish pruning and um, checking for suckers, checking for anything already wilting on it or spots on the leaves. And this is how we take care of our tomatoes. And we will continue to do this through the whole growing season. Um, any dead leaves, when, when, there's not, when they're not getting a lot of rain, you want to be sure to get off any dead leaves, you know, when they start dying out like that towards the bottom. And they'll go from bottom up. So start taking off your dead leaves. So that's what I'm going to finish doing right now. I hope y'all have enjoyed this, and I hope you've got a little bit of education. Um, if y'all have any comments or suggestions or um, what y'all are doing with y'all's tomato plants, just talk to me in the comments.